Salutations, salutations, salutations. Welcome to another installment of your favorite show, The Del Ryan Report. I am Ryan Humor and... Hey, man, it's the ever so clever, the man with many endeavors, your favorite podcast host, Mr. About Del Time. Peace and love. What up, G? What up? I mean, bro, like, it's a very special day, man, for multiple reasons at hand. Like, obviously, it's Juneteenth. Yeah. And the, well, it's, a, it's the, the observation of Juneteenth. Juneteenth was yesterday. Right. Happy birthday to my little niece, Joe Marie. She just turned nine. And today is a day of the Warriors' fourth championship parade in like eight years. Right, 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 right. They won the chip, man. How you feel? I feel great, man. I feel, I, I, I feel happy to be back in the Bay, as always, especially when we win in. I mean, shit, that's the best time to be in the Bay. Because you, you moved back while they was winning. Like you, That's when you decided to come back. I moved back to help them win. You moved back because they because you left after they after KD left you left you was like, I don't want to be around the Warriors no more and you had dipped and then once they got close to winning you was like, I'm gonna just move back out there because you low key like I mean you was low key a Laker fan for a second there and then now it's like you want to come back and be at the parade and shit it's weird it's weird man it's weird energy but you know welcome back you know what I mean like nobody's mad about it but it's just weird it's funny you say that because your whole time you was out there being a Sacramento Kings fan Bruh. talking about Buddy Hill he the new truth. You was, Buddy Hill is the new truth. That's a lie. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. It's a lie. You was out there, big sack. You was talking about big purple, sack, purple Pause. and black, bur- purple and black. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I, all like, every time I, every time I would give him a call, he bumping Mozzie in the background. Mozzie, Mozzie slaps though. Yeah, so that's different. Sack, you love it. You live for it. <laughs> you live for it. You'll never hear. It. Ain't nobody fucking with Mozzie from Macramento. <laughs> hey man, but like so. Here's the thing, bro. I, I, I kind of want to give, like, first of all, congratulations to the Warriors. Facts. But, bro, like, the Warrior fans got to calm down a little bit. And not not all, not, like, all of y'all, but, like, there's a small percentage of y'all out there that have been bamboozled. <laughs> a small percentage of y'all have been bamboozled by ESPN and the sports media into hating Kevin Durant. Mm. And I don't know what this is about, bro. Like, I'm going to read you some mean tweets. <laughs> <laughs> I got some mean tweets, man. Somebody said on Twitter, KD was a role player. Somebody mm. said, KD, these are your rings. And there was pictures of ring pops. Wow. Somebody, they, when KD. That's hard, though. That's when, hard. When KD said, when KD said uh, congratulations to the Warriors, you know. Somebody said, now you want to say something? We don't need you. Never did. <laughs> you let us down. What? I don't, I don't understand where this vitriol came from. I'm going to tell you what it is. Explain. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a lot of. It's a lot of Bay Area attitude, a lot of town business. You know how we is in the Bay because we feel like we the most underrated part of anything, whether it's music, whether it's sports, whether it's, you know, era, whether it's whatever. So the way we feel about shit, especially when we win, you know what I'm saying? Our attitude is very flamboyant. We going to talk shit. We 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 already playing with a chip on our shoulder, even when sometimes when we don't have to. We as a, as a Bay Area three chips on the shoulder, three chips. But I'm just talking about that's just see. We talking about the Warrior fans ain't well. Actually, I will say the Warrior players are doing that. They going back. It's a lot of that too. It's the Warrior fans going back, for, Warrior players going back and throwing shots at shit niggas said in the media. That's fine. Months I, ago. I'm, I'm compl- but that's how that's how town business is. Now they they like nah nigga and we gotta get at KD because this bitch ass can't get a pass either. That's but I, KD never like hated him was like he didn't do nothing wrong to us. That's what that's what well, this is this, what, this, what, this I can see I can see I can see this. If KD and them won, if like the Nets won a chimp, right? Mm-hmm. And the Bay Area was mad because we, we lost to them. I I can get that. But KD came, he did the two chips or whatever, like Clay. And Steph got to take some miles off of their legs within those four years. Facts. He was the best player. On then KD got hurt, but still tried to play because of peer pressure. And then went there and tore his whole Achilles up. That's a good point. The he went Bay, out there and sacrificed his career for us. Here's the thing, bro. I'm I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who has to make this clear. I'm gonna say it. The Bay Area is like Drake, <laughs> because like we can't run around this fake ass underdog shit no more. <laughs> it's not true anymore. It's like it's like Drake 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 finally said uh, and Lemon Pepper had, and Lemon Pepper Drake finally said imagine me still rapping about if I didn't make it right could he stay rapping about if he didn't make it <laughs> he's been doing that for years man then he's like finally had to stop make fun of himself I'm sick of this Bay Area underdog shit bro but we still do that we still talk about like what if they would have traded Steph 
You know what I'm saying? Who, Who said that? We, we, we talk about if they would have traded Steph. We still talking about if we would have got Vince Carter instead of Antoine Jameson. You know, man, Uncle Isaac be talking about that. <laughs> Nobody's worried about that. I think that, you know that's 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 the that's the interesting thing where that's like some high level warriors to be like we could have got this draft. Then you get older and older and realize. Everyone could have had everyone in the Everybody. draft. That's how the draft works. Everybody. And the Game, thing, and Game could have been on fucking could have been on the Jazz. And honestly, and honestly, keep it real. Like even if if we did draft Vince Carter, so there would have been more dunks. So what? Right. It wouldn't have even done anything. I mean, we, we literally had we literally had Jason Richardson. And he was in the dunk contest too. Like, that's, it doesn't matter. That's what I mean. Like so, I just don't like all. I don't. I just can we for like I believe. Since while we in Juneteenth and like we celebrate like the emancipation, can we emancipate KD, man? Can the Bay Area relinquish this bitch? It's how he did it. It's how he did it. It's how he did his exit. It's how he did his exit. It wasn't no clear thing. It was the fact that you was mad. It, it, and, and look, let me tell you this too. You a perfect example of this because you low key Draymond anyway in a lot of ways. Your ass is, is, and I think that's why sometimes you get so mad at Draymond, because you really be mad at yourself, because you know your ass make those same kind of decision moves sometimes too, where it's like, you giving niggas the right advice, but your delivery was wrong. Listen, and, man. And, 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 and so, and then niggas, and then niggas don't take your delivery, niggas take the, the delivery, you, the end delivery you gave them, the finalized delivery you gave them, and they, t- and they make that the judgment of how you treated them for the rest of their whole lives. That's what KD did. So, when fucking... They was on the court, and we still talking about this shit as in the fact that... When Draymond yelled at him, so we don't Draymond need When Draymond yelled at him. KD so sensitive, and see, in the Bay, we not sensitive like that. Niggas can yell at us, and we just take that shit like, all right, nigga, I guess I got to get my shit together. But other niggas from other cities, they be sensitive. They be like, oh, nigga, we'll take that room from, nigga. We did, 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 did. That's why niggas being killed so much other places. But out... Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point, man. You know what I mean? Like, R.I.P. Nipsey. It's right. like, yo, I can't have you by me. You're weird. All yeah. right, watch this, cuz. What? <laughs> he said, he said I got papers. So murder? Yes, murder. We don't play like that. Yeah. So I guess you make, I mean, I guess you make a pretty good point. It's just interesting how, like, in life, and I think like the story of KD is an interesting thing, right? Because like you can, my basketball coach used to tell us, like, you can have anything, but you can't have everything, right? And he was saying that because one of our point guard used to just get every, he used to steal, he steal, he steal, he steal. And then one time he got, he got crossed up a couple times like trying to steal the rod. Now you can have anything, but you can't have everything. Right, right. Uh, me and my homie, uh, me and my homie Rick Rock, we was in Seattle one time. Some wild shit popped off. Uh, we had a bunch of, we had a, just a, 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 a copium, a copious amount of, uh, of bounty, if you will. It's a copious amount of bounty. We try to take all this bounty with us. And we end up with no bounty, if you will. And the taxi, oh, man, you can't have anything, but you can't have everything. And the taxi driver was like, I mean, the Uber driver was like, they say in my country, you can't pick up two millions with one hand. Mm. Bar. And Bar. I said that to say, that like, is, that's deep. And I said that to say, like, unless they didn't baby watermelons, maybe. Unless they baby watermelons, you can't pick up two millions with one hand. You could pick up one and then go back and get the other, but if you pick up two, what's going to happen? You actually can't even pick up two, ba- two baby watermelons with one hand. You probably can't, unless you got like, weird, unless you have like, like Kawhi Leonard hand. can. Yeah. Kawhi, like, Kawhi Leonard can. Um, but I say that to say, like, so KD is a dope example of, you know, sometimes you really got to, like, let go. You got to, like, say goodbye and cut, the, and cut the accord. That's why he left OKC. Right, right, right. So you go to a great situation where, like, you're accepted for, like, the most part from what I could see. Like, the tech, the tech industry, uh, the tech, tech industry like KD, I think there's a lot of, like, fringe, a lot of fringe, like, not even fringe, but there's Bay Area, fan, Bay Area fans that don't really like the drafted core. But it's like, yo, I've always been a KD fan. This is cool. I like KD shoes more than any of these other dudes' shoes. He's with Nike all this, but then to be like, you know what? I don't like, I did what I needed to do here, but I don't like the way I'm being spoken to with that. Let me see if I can switch again. Yeah. Ah, I don't know if you could do that. You can't do that. I don't, you can have anything. Because now you look like a bitch ass motherfucker. He doesn't look like, he doesn't. But but listen to me. These and you're, words. Giving, you're giving people, you're giving people an opportunity for them to depict you as that. Because now they're looking at you like, especially when you didn't have this bond with Westbrook. You had this great bond with Westbrook on the court. You had a great bond and y'all was supposed to win. Y'all, y'all, y'all three MVPs on one team, right? You got three MVPs on the team. Y'all couldn't win a championship. You leave him to be out there solo. He balls out one year, does great. And then you didn't talk to him. Then you come to us. You went and but with us, you're right. I get your take. We're supposed to be grateful. We got two ships from his ass. Yeah, he, Warrior he fans should he, be grateful. He did what he was supposed to do. He moved on. Right. But that's what I mean by the bait. We, nigga, you can't just give us a little bit. We want it all or nothing. We don't take a little bit of nothing. 
Nigga, if you was giving it to us, then why you still ain't giving it to us? He's not, man, listen, I'm taking time on Juneteenth to say he's not a slave. He don't, we don't own him. We don't. I agree. You know, the interesting thing is like but this, like, a, we have, like we, a bitch. KD, <laughs> KD came on, KD came on and did like, and did his one year deals and we let him do these one year deals. Right. Because he was okay with that. Yeah. So we were okay with it. It's not like he, it's not like he didn't do some, um, it wasn't some Ben Simmons shit. Mm -hmm. was like, I'm not going to play. No, we, we gave him one year deals because he always had the choice to leave. I didn't hear. I didn't hear one person. I didn't hear one Warrior fan in the whole Bay Area like, "I'm tired of KD and his one year deals." We was like, "Nah, nah, run it. Nah, yeah. we we'll take." Because so we, we was winning, right? And we won with him. We went all the way to the finals and then lost to, or, or we lost in like a freak accident because Kawhi, Kawhi, Kawhi wanted to prove to the to America that he was the is truth. better than San Antonio. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard wanted to prove to America, he's like Greg Popovich did not build me, cuz. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm him. I'm a man. I'm him. <laughs> I'm a man. And then he went to Toronto and put Canada on his back. He did. He on did. his back. And he picked up two millions with his hands. He's seen it. Pause. Seen it. And then we lost. And then, and then uh, Clay got hurt. All this shit. It was a freak accident. And then, so I, don't, I just don't understand the amount of like, it's like a weird amount of like, it's like a weird... It's a weird beef, Dale. It's like it's like you know how you ever see you see everyone's been in a relationship or seen a friend's relationship where okay, like one person is doing significantly better than they ex, and then you see let's say let's say Johnny and Johnny and Jenna, right? You got Johnny and Jenna, and your boy is Johnny. Johnny done got remarried to Sarah, and you running to Jenna at the club. She's sweeping up floors and shit. Who knows? Uh, cleaning up used condoms. She's like, you still friends with Johnny? Nick is a bitch. Hey, Johnny. And then she walk out and go get in her Honda and sleep in the car because she ain't got nowhere to live and shit. Right. Johnny. Now, now, if this, if, if like, if Jenna was like CEO of Google and you run into her, what reason would she be mad? What reason does she got to be angry at Johnny still? Not a nothing. She, nothing. That's what I'm saying. So we win Unless there is always an unless in there. She mad at Johnny. I, she could still be mad at Johnny. Motherfuckers be, you, you gotta remember, motherfuckers do be up and still be mad at niggas for some shit that, you know what? that, that Pe they be down about. You know what? People do be mad still, but the amount of Bay Area vitriol is, it's almost like, in a way, in a way it's like, it's, some, it's disgusting because it, it kind of makes it seem like, it makes us seem really thirsty. Yeah. Like, man, wish we st wish he was still here. Cause he, cause it's like, it's almost, it's almost like, this is the way I feel like, I feel like the Bay Area is looking at KD, like they was in a relationship with this person and then like she left. And then you really loved her. You with somebody else, but she over there just getting turned. I was about to say she, that. She, it's Chris she, Brown. But, it's but, Chris Brown but now, Gucci. but yeah, now she's on the track. Like, mm. you stupid bitch. Yeah. You should have. You should be here. You should be here. You stu <laughs> you stupid be here. And, and I think in a weird, in a weird way, in a weird way, it's like a, it's like a love hate thing. Because right. I, I, I wish very people would just admit that. Like, we really miss KD because we know this, this championship was hard to get. The shoot was hard. It was the hard. Was very hard. We are saying that. That is, nah, no, 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 nah. it, it is being said, it's not said to those terms, but it is being said like, this one's hard, this was, this one's a real one. Niggas ain't gonna really be like, cause when we had KD, that shit was easy. That shit not, was easy. That's not, not based on the mean tweets, I'm reading, based on the mean tweets. But mean he tweets, was a role player. But those are hurt. We didn't those need him. Those are hurt fans who felt like they've been hurt for the last two years and they like, they gotta let they They're hurt out. by what? They just hurt that they wasn't winning. KD ain't been winning either. It, don't no, no, no. it feels like, but look, look, as much, and you know what it is? It's the media's fault. You know, and I, 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 I kind of, I, 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 yeah, you're it's right. The, it's I, the media's so fault. I said in the beginning, no, 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 no. The media, the media perpetrated this message. I blame Warrior fans for, for being ignorant enough to accept this message. Not all, not all of them, but some of them. Mm -hmm. and because the thing is like, KD isn't, KD ain't on the Bucks winning with, winning with, winning with Giannis. He went to the Nets and was hurt, and they can't get things together. He's, oh, bruh. KD is on the KD is essentially on the new uh the new thunder. But that's what I'm saying. But so it, and, they, they, and they bro and they might send Westbrook over there too. They might send Westbrook just, over there for Kyrie just to destroy KD's life. Just to and make we him we shit. and we just stupid. You shouldn't have left. Like what? Your, your, your analogy what? is so great because that's exactly what it is. It's exactly that. It's literally us. We so petty in the bay, nigga. We can't just let your ass. We we got to make sure you get fucked all the way off. That's our whole intention. This is ridiculous. Like, like this if you go against us, if you go against us, we gotta fuck you all the way off. This is ridiculous. Nah, we gotta this make sure. 
We got real petty motherfuckers nah, who, who wouldn't let you who wouldn't let you come back in and get your TV just because I wouldn't let you come back and get your TV just because I spent half on it. The Bay Area is not fifty cent, bro. Nah, we let this ja Rule shit go. Nope. He should have never did that. We ain't got no reason to be this upset at KD, man. I don't like I'm it. I'm not upset with him. I, I don't not, like I'm it, just, man. Free I KD. I'm free KD, man. Free him. Free him from this vitriol, man. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm and the thing is, I heard a little bit about it. I saw one tweet that was like. KD living on Warrior fans' minds, rent free. I'm like, whatever. And I started scrolling through. I'm like, oh my God. Like, we got a whole parade. Y'all worried about? They got pitch. They got the little meme with like KD, KD in a Warrior jersey, like KD next year and shit. Like, <laughs> it ain't right, man. It ain't right. It ain't right. Can we free him? He could be free. He could be free. He didn't win nothing. Let free that man. Let KD go. <laughs> I think like. So here's the thing, man. Four, four, four chips in eight years. Yeah. I don't want. I don't. I don't really want to ask this, but I heard an interesting thing. Heard something interesting. They said. Uh, they said how what they said Steph having like four, Steph having four chips and LeBron having four chips. What happens if Steph retires with more chips than LeBron? Like what does what does it mean? It means a lot. <laughs> does it? It does. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything to really a negative impact a LeBron career, but it definitely it definitely elevates Steph's career, and and the reason being is because Steph even with four chips, this is the first time actually this year is actually the one of the first times that the Warriors organization has actually been the non underdog, and Steph is starting to extend to not being a under unrated guard because in a lot of ways a lot of people are like well he can shoot yeah yeah he's a great shooter but he can't got defense hold up hold up what you mean this is the first year they weren't the underdog there, there wasn't like it wasn't really a big underdog especially like even in this thing wait are you saying you're saying that you saying this is the first time they were the favorite they, they was the favorite both there was a, when we showed up with kd was a favorite you right you right you right without kd because when I first went... Okay, so you're saying, first, were, you're saying they were the underdog this time. When they were the underdog this time, but I'm saying it was our first time since 2015. Really being an underdog again. Really being really being like counted out, like even to the point yeah, where... They, I, I argue that they were an underdog, and, but I think... I mean, throughout the whole season, nobody thought we would be in the finals. Only person that said that, the only person that said they thought that was Stephen A. Smith. Outside of I, that, he didn't even think that really though. No, he did. He did. He did. It, this was in the beginning of the season. J, he did say JJ that. and JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick said he was crazy as hell. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Where this is the beginning run? of the season. They're not gonna. And, and Stephen A. Smith stood on. He stood on it. You yeah. know what I mean? But I do. You're right. They were the underdog this year. This was the first time in a while where it was like, where it was like, oh my god, who knows if they're gonna win? Versus when they won the ones with KD, it's like, all right, we know if they're gonna win. But, and this win is. And these wins are strictly from Curry. There's no eager dollar backup. We could we could talk about Wiggins' great performance. We could talk about Poole's great performance. But Curry, down the line, was the reason why we won these games. Bro, I think I honestly believe that they they gave that. Now that I look back on like how the media works, now like all this does, I just think I'm confident in like people's people's uh, ability to just be diabolical. Mm -hmm. I think the whole reason, what the only reason, like to give Andre Iguodala. The finals MVP was so we could have this narrative for like X amount of years, right? Because that doesn't make any sense. It like does. If you look at the statistics, like we it, all knew that we all knew Curry was the reason. We all they've been saying that that he got robbed. But <laughs> it's just a stupid, it's such a stupid award to hand out. To like, and then, then you see him there later on the year, and he just now he just really like a, a player coach, right? Iguodala is just a player coach. He just on there, just he, you he 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 has them. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> not Andre Iguodala. It's not awesome. Let me ask you about. Let me ask you about this. Uh, about this Kyrie uh, Lakers thing, bro. Like, mm -hmm. first of all, I just want to be. I want to be a hundred. Like, let me say. Like, I appreciate you guys' patience because our rotation has been a little bit off because we want to record the episodes around the games and whatever and so on and so forth. But just so y'all know, the episodes will be dropping on Sunday mornings um, because honestly, bro, I can't hold you. Like, I said that to say, like, I'm tired of basketball. I'm and I love basketball, but I'm tired of it in a way. That like whatever they did with this season, this shit was like it was almost bro. It was like a weird, a weird like loving hip hop. I'm for some of y'all that seen Lost, loving hip hop, Lost. Every thought he's connected. If you've never seen Lost, it's like a, it's like I, I know Lost. It's like Crash. Everybody's yeah, yeah. connected. And this season with the 
with the Kyrie connected to the Nets, connected to KD, the Nets connected to Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons connected to James Harden, Harden connected to the Nets, the Nets connected to the Warriors because KD used to be on the Warriors, and then the Nets to connect it to Celtics because KD played for the Celtics, and then every day, Are the Lakers will make the playoff, will the Lakers make the playoff, will the Lakers make the playoff, will the Lakers make the playoffs, bro. There's 30, 30 plus teams in the NBA, bro. All I heard about was the Nets, the Sixers, and the Celtics. The, bro, the Lakers, we didn't hear about the Celtics or the Warriors for the last three months of the season. Bro, am I lying? No, you ain't, you ain't, Bruh, you ain't. who talked about the Celtics? Like, Jalen Brown, like, I've been balling the whole year. Like, who's Jalen Brown? Like, bro, I play for the Celtics. Who yeah. are the Celtics? Yeah. I'm tired, I'm, and I'm glad it's over. But I asked you all that to ask you about more drama. <laughs> Apparently, like, sources say, word in the street is, the Lakers are interested in getting Kyrie. Okay. And the Nets are at an impasse with him and his contract because they don't want to give him a long extension. They want to give him, like, a kd type of, like, one-year deal. What are your thoughts, man? I, you need another person to blame to blame another to another winning another losing season on. What are you talking about? So the Lakers, the Lakers. <laughs> last year, last year it was Westbrook. This like like we're gonna we're gonna keep replacing niggas that media already has enough to say about with the same guard. You think they want to do that? If they Why? lose, because it also because here's the thing, you if they win. Great. LeBron did great. LeBron, 38 years old, been balling forever. If they lose, it's all Kyrie. They should have never got Kyrie. They should have went and got Jorgic. Like, that- <laughs> if the Lakers, if the Lakers are if the Lakers are genuinely looking for i I'm not saying they're not. If they're looking for a scapegoat, they're sociopaths. Because that's insane, <laughs> bro. Like, if we win, it's cool. And if we lose, they can just blame him. But why would you why want- even bring someone in that, that could be a problem, is my point. But that's what I'm saying. Why would you do that if you already know, okay. LeBron and LeBron and, and Kyrie, they don't really mesh. Even though they won a championship together, they have they have this history of not meshing. Allegedly, they've like grown out of like Shaq and Kobe when they got. If they if they get and, and then okay and then that's the that's the other narrative part. If they win, it's this oh they were Shaq and Kobe and now you could build you can build that up again. They're the new Shaq and Kobe. Look at their legacy. They were like this. Then you can show all these clips. Cause you already got you know what I'm saying like any anybody in media knows this. You got this extra storage clip. Of just shit, waiting for shit that you can match up to this shit. And this is playing out during the last two days. It was like when Kyrie hit a shot. They're like, this is the shot Kyrie hit. This is the block LeBron had against Iguodala. They've been, they've been showing all that. Exactly. Uh, and especially after the Warriors win. After the Warriors win, who else could take us down but the other niggas who don't beat us? It's so, that's so lazy. That's so, listen. Because now we don't beat the young boys. We don't beat the young boys that y'all said was the hardest. The, all we gotta, the only people we got to beat... Other than anybody else right now, all we got to do is match up and make sure we beat Giannis one time. And then we officially the GOAT. To be, to be honest, like, maybe this is why I'm tired of basketball. Because really, bro, like, <laughs> really, like, the Warriors have won four championships in eight years. To be real, bro, like, just to be real, if they don't win anymore, it's fine. It's, exactly. That's hella championships, dog. Dre going to retire in two years. Like, it's hella championships. Honestly, like, it's kind of like... He might retire next year. They could do, they could probably do, if they wanted to, I don't want to say this. No, they could do it. If they wanted to, they could do a Niner drought and just not be good for a long time. And get a young nigga. <laughs> not be good for 30 years. For real. And niggas would still be like, nigga, no. Still talking we about the chips. Nigga, like, the got, Celt- like the Celtics do. Yep. Facts. Like, 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 we like, gonna, we're going to combine all our shit in one thing. Nigga Curry, Wilt Chamberlain, all them niggas was with us. I think that makes like seven. So you have seven chips. Curry won all of them. Curry won all. No, he if, was on all of them. <laughs> if they honestly like for real, if they, if the media finds a way to do this whole like get Kyrie and LeBron back together, if they do that, I'm going on strike, bro. For basketball? Yeah, dog. Cause that's lazy. That's late, dog. That's lazy, right? What if they go and go get someone like Dame though? That's fine. But to do this reunited and it feels so good, shit. Come on, bro. They're going to that... do, do it anyway. Because to... now basketball is becoming WWE. No. <laughs> they Don't be one of those people, dog. Yeah, LeBron going to come out being an undertaker. The only reason why basketball looks like WWE is because, is because of the, the media. We have more access. I'm the media. We just have more access. We, have, we got more access to stories, and we know more about what people are going to do before they do it because they talk about it. They've been doing this. We just didn't, we just didn't have access to it. Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley left the Suns and went to go play with Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> For real? But let Charles tell you, he was old. 
He was old. All them that, motherfuckers that, was old. that makes it even worse. Because here's the thing, bro. The thing that makes it when people say I did it when I was old. The thing that the thing that makes it worse to do it when you're older is that you don't offer anything to that team. Yeah. To do it when you're younger is like I can help y'all. That's why when it comes to KD, LeBron, whoever, like I I can help y'all. But if you like wash, I want to look at good old. That's washed to me. Right. If Kendrick Perkins came out, I was like, could I join the Warriors? Yeah. No, you can't join the Warriors. What are you talking about? As a coach. Not even as a coach. You join us as a cowboy. <laughs> and shout out for uh, shout out for Draymond for. For oh, checking the mask. Yeah, for for checking uh checking Kendrick Perkins. He tried to do a, he tried to do a little a little skit and show up in a in like a Alcatraz costume with the stripes on it with some handcuffs. Like the Warriors got locked up. And then Draymond was like, "Where's Kendrick Perkins? That he was dressed like a clown earlier. He gonna leave work early because we won. You need to stand on that. And it's true. It's yeah. true, man. I don't, I." I get it. You want to do your character shit, but I don't think you've been in the game long enough to do like Stephen A. Smith cowboy hat shit. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's time to start just dressing up in like prison outfits. Cause you was the one saying Kyrie's a bird flying backwards, and now you here nah. wearing county outfits for wow. fun. What like what what black man is on TV wearing county outfits for fun? The cold part is like we give people look, we give people a lot of fluff about black dudes wearing dresses for like comedic entertainment, which Brother is gonna go on TV and purposefully wear a jail outfit for for a skit. It's not even, and it's not even, not even a skit, Dale. Just hey, I'm on ESPN. Blessed to be here. Look at me. Look at the point. You could just brought the handcuffs. You didn't need it anyway, man. Let's... That was somebody. That was his media personnel, though. Like you should just come in that jail outfit. Nobody told him to do that. Somebody told him to do that. No one told him to do that. Little Roger told him to do that. Little Roger. Little Roger. Nobody told Kendrick. Per- a Kendrick. Per- that's why. That's why I'm so disappointed in him because he's the type that don't listen to nobody. <laughs> so somebody told him not to do it. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, bro, you should do that. I'm gonna show y'all. You should be funny here. Yeah, watch. <laughs> okay. All right, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, we gonna we gonna go to a quick commercial break. When we come back for y'all, we got some scam stuff. Right. Scam <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Make sure before you uh, log off on this one, though, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you be stay notified for all of the latest episodes that come out. And we'll holler. We'll holler.